first one first. How do I feel about Pence? Impeachment, you don't get to pick your president. What you get to do is stand up for the Constitution and get rid of a lawbreaker. And so what we're saying is this president is reckless, lawless, and dangerous, and we, and we don't get to pick the next president. So that's the first thing I'd say. I would also say that this president, don't underestimate how powerful Donald Trump is in thinking about it. He's someone who actually took 16 Republican contestants for the presidency to the cleaners, won a race that no one thought he could win against Hillary Clinton. He is a very competent, professional demagogue, and that will be true for as long as, as he's around. So first of all, that's what we're doing in impeachment, is getting rid of a lawless, dangerous, and powerful president. Follow-up? Hi, uh, Bob again from Minneapolis. Saw you down in Cedar Rapids. Uh, here's my question. I'm glad you mentioned Pence, because I talk to a lot of Republicans, and the fact is that when you tell them the choice is not Trump or Hillary, that's over. That was the election. Our constitutional choice today is Trump or Pence. And if we are going to be successful, then a lot of Republicans need to come on board. And you would be surprised how receptive a lot of them are once they start to realize it's almost like the Got Milk campaign. It's, you know, it's not a question of whether milk is good for you. It's just that people forget to get it. So that's what the whole Got Milk campaign is about. Well, got pants? Have we got pants? We've got to get the Republicans to start thinking about that. So here's my question. What can you do to educate all Americans, and Republicans in particular, that our choice is to uh, have President Pence, to be perfectly blunt? What can you do? I think that's a great point, and maybe I could be a little more clear that this is not a partisan question because we'll replace this president with a conservative Republican from Indiana with whom I probably agree on exactly zero politics, <laughs> but where our country would be much safer, our democracy would be restored, and we could move forward in a much more straightforward way, even though I disagree with the president on virtually every issue. This video from the heart of Trump country, Minnesota's 8th Congressional District, shows Republicans do listen when they're reminded our choice really is Trump or Pence. All right, please welcome a candidate who is running for governor and requesting endorsement by Republicans. Uh, please welcome Bob Carney. Thank you. Hi, uh, I'm Bob King Curry Jr. It's great to be up here. Now, uh, I, a, lot, a lot of you, I'm sure, heard a recent news report that said that 70% uh, uh, of Democrats want Mike Pence for president. How many have heard about that? 70% of Democrats want Mike Pence for president. Okay, you may have heard a little different headline. What, what might the headline be for that? 70% of Democrats want President Trump to impeach. Okay, now you also hear a lot of talk about the idea that we can't overthrow or overturn or undo the election of 2016. That's not going to happen. Our choice, our constitutional choice today, is not between President Trump and President Hillary Clinton. Our choice is between President Trump and President Pence. And I just want you all to think about that. I've got a new constitutional theory that I am looking forward to talking with people about. And I'm going to be around here if you want to talk about it with me uh, later in the convention as things wind down. But I believe that we've misunderstood our, our impeachment process. And in particular, you will be, I, I call this a constitutional immune system. One of the things that will really surprise you is that the Supreme Court was originally set up, and it is still set up, to be a, an original jurisdiction trial court for criminal cases of impeachment for everybody but the president and vice president. 
So I want you to think about uh, how this constitution works, and I want you to study the material I'm going to be sending out by email. I'm going to be launching my email campaign. We need to think through this whole question. Now, uh, as you know, Governor Pelini said he thought that uh, President Trump was unhinged, unqualified, and unfit to be president. I agree. He may have changed that position. But I think we need to do something about this, and I'm looking forward to talking with everybody, including candidates of all parties, on video, about what our Constitution actually provides for in terms of impeachment and removal. Thank you. All right. We are not the party that squashes free speech. We let them all speak. You bet, Bob. Bob visits with us at the Capitol very frequently, so we know him well. However, in Minnesota, each Republican congressional district makes their own rules. This is Bob again, Carney Jr. I am a candidate for governor of Minnesota seeking the Republican endorsement and nomination in the primary. It is May 19th, and I'm up here at the 7th Congressional District Republican Convention. I have just been escorted from the convention hall by a sergeant at arms, Wally Cole. Uh, I had requested to speak to the convention, which I have done at four previous congressional district conventions, and was told that there was a rule requiring candidates contact the organization three days in advance to get permission. I have from a reliable source, which I cannot disclose, information telling me that about two weeks ago, the 7th District Republican Party changed their rules to introduce this requirement for contacting them in advance. And it was done for the specific purpose of excluding me from speaking to the convention. I have requested of Jeff Johnson that he talk to them and ask that they allow me to speak. And he said he would talk to them, uh, but obviously was not able to make any promise. 1216, a brief update. I just talked with Jeff Johnson, who is a leading Republican candidate for governor. He did confirm to me that he had talked with the people running the convention uh, and asked why I was not being uh, allowed to speak. Uh, and, uh, of course, I was uh, kicked out shortly after that, so it could be that uh, simply that they found out that I was raising this issue uh, may have prompted them to, uh, have to escort me out. Uh, Jeff Johnson uh, declined to do a video interview. At this point, it looks like I'll be unable to speak at the Minnesota State Republican Convention, so I'm asking for volunteers to give Minnesota Republicans a chance to vote against Donald Trump this August. If you're willing to put your name on the Minnesota state primary ballot with me as a candidate for either governor or lieutenant governor, please call me to talk about it. However, the filing deadline is June 5th, so hurry. My number is 612-812-4867. Thank you.